Hey guys, I'm back with a quick tip. Do you find yourself having the need to screen share? Let me show you a few challenges that I face when using an ultra wide screen to share. So let's just first cover the basics. There is more than one type of aspect ratio when viewing your display. There's the classic TV, which is four by three. There is widescreen, which is very popular, 16 by nine. And then there is this ultra wide at 21 by nine. And this is for folks with ultra wide displays. Now I'm in a Teams call here. At the top is an ultra wide monitor and at the bottom is a regular 16 by nine aspect ratio. Watch what happens when I share the desktop of the ultra wide monitor. So I'll click share and I'm going to select the screen. So I'm going to select screen. Okay. So in the bottom is the team's meeting and you'll notice the black borders are there at the top and at the bottom. And it's very hard to read, especially if these monitors are really ultra wide. So how can you fix that? How can you make it better? So head over to the top screen there and you'll notice that I am actually going to do a couple of things differently. First, I'm going to take a window that I want to share. I'm going to snap it into a zone. I've created zones that map to 16 by nine ratios. So I got one zone here, one zone there, and one zone at the bottom there as well. That's ultra wide. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move it into the 16 by nine ratio at the top, and I'm going to stop sharing. And this time I'm going to share the windowed application instead. So here we go. I'm going to select that one. And what you'll see at the bottom is it's much more bigger. Now, one note of caution, if you resize this, it resizes also for the viewing participant. So you want to make sure that you kind of observe that change when you do resize your application windows. Now, you know, I'm using more than one way to calculate this. So I'm going to show you how. So if you look at this website, it's a calculate aspect ratio um, dot com. And you could type in a pixel width and a pixel height. Right, so that's cool. Why this helps? Well, let me show you how I'm using fancy zones to create zones on my display, you know, so that I can neatly snap them into. All right, so let's go back to stop screen sharing so you could see the full desktop uh, at the top there. All right, so on this monitor, I will bring in fancy zones, which is a power. Um, power toy at this moment. Now you can't see it there because it's so small. So I'm going to move it to another display where you'll see that a bit more bigger. All right. So that's there at the bottom there for you. Okay. So in this software, I'm going to launch the layout editor. Once I've launched the layout editor, I'm going to select a monitor that I need to modify. This takes it to um, the ultra wide display. And I'm going to scroll down here and look at my custom layout that I've created. I'm going to edit that. And so what you notice here is I've created these zones that map to 16 by nine ratios. And I've gone from 720p to 1080p to 1440p on the ratio. So depending where I snap this, browser or what application window I'm sharing, it would change the resolution in the meeting. So at the highest at 720, it's going to look the biggest and then one below and then one below increasing, increasing the display, which means the remote participants see it smaller and smaller. So that's what I've done in here. I'm going to cancel out of this and close this and I want to show you how I'm snapping this. So I'm in here, snap that's one. I'm holding down the shift key which allows me to snap it to different zones and changes the resolution. Let me just show you the browser size just changes as this happens as well. So pick this one and I'm going to pick this one as well. So if I'm in my team's call and I'm sharing, I'm not going to share the whole screen of the ultra wide. I am going to use window sharing and I'm going to share just this portion. 
So if you look now in the remote teams, as I snap this, it's changing the resolution for the display. So I think at 720p, you're gonna give people the best accessibility in reading the content that's on your web page. That's it for me. Hopefully you like this tip. Uh, you can download Fancy Toys. I'll put a link in the description. And I'll also give you a few links to the websites that I'm using as well. There's one plugin that I found really useful. It's called the Window Resizer plugin from the Chrome Store. And if you have it installed, you can create pre-configured uh, browser sizes and resolutions, and that's gonna help you change uh, or quickly get to the right pixels when you adjust your browsers. Anyways, that's all I have for today. Thanks for watching. And uh, subscribe if you're not already subscribing. Stay tuned and until the next one. Thank you.